that? Why are we blaming the teachers? Maybe it's the dumb kids. Anyway, in a sign the movement is gaining strength, they're getting some help from a star trial lawyer, David Boyce. Of course, he's the man who fought to overturn California's same-sex marriage ban and defended Al Gore in that infamous 2000 Supreme Court case, Bush v. Gore, which ultimately decided the presidency. Both Campbell Brown, founder of the Partnership for Educational Justice, and David Boyce, chairman of the Partnership for Educational Choice, be, join me right now. Let's get to the heart of this. People watching, you know, I'm big on charter schools, yeah. a lot of things I like to see in reform. I, I love the movie by Davis Guggenheim in Waiting for Superman. <clears throat> I think there's a lot of people out there who want to send their kids to public schools or already do, but are afraid the kids aren't getting a good education. How will getting rid of tenure laws make education for the average kid better. So, first of all, it's not a silver bullet, and, and let's be clear about that. It's not going to solve all our problems. We have a lot of challenges we, ha we need to address, but this is one of them, which is the goal of getting an effective teacher in front of every child. And what tenure laws have become in most places is permanent lifetime employment. That tenure is granted without an evaluation process. It's real. It's become it's like perfunctory. The Supreme Court. It's become perfunctory, and even teachers think it's become perfunctory. So they don't, um, they, you know, and once it's in place, then these dismissal laws that are also on the books. Do they make really, it excuse, okay, well, this is hot stuff. Do they really have places in New York where the teachers go who are lousy teachers? Yeah. They put them in a room, the nodding room, whatever it's called. Rubber they just rooms. sit in that room. What's it called? Rubber rooms. They tried to do away with the rubber rooms, but now they have what's called the absent teacher reserve, which is basically. Okay, David, for you get in here. How bad is it where they take teachers who are deadheads, who are mailing it in, who have lost right. interest in their job, but instead of firing them because they have tenure, they put them in a room, pay them full salary, right. so they can go home to their wives and kids and say, "Yeah, I worked today." When in fact they didn't work that day. They were put in. A, they were told to do spend time there, wasting time. And if we had an unlimited amount of money, we could tolerate that. But the problem is that for every one of those people that is not teaching, we are losing the ability to have a replacement who wants to teach, who's able to teach, and who would improve the lives of our children. The pro you, you wouldn't go to a hospital or a law firm um, where the people were not retained and promoted based on merit. And parents don't want to send their children to schools where the p teachers aren't promoted and retained based on merit. Well, you know, somebody once said of a politician who you know, but I won't quote on television, said to me, when you're tired going to the picnic, if you're going there 10 years and you don't want to go to the 11th year, quit. Right, exactly. When do, te do teachers quit when they've lost interest in teaching or do they stay on and keep collecting a paycheck? Is my question. Do you want to do this, David? Yeah, I, I, look, I, I love teachers, all right? Um, both of my parents. What about parents, the ones that have lost interest and they're still collecting a paycheck? How they ought to be them? replaced. They ought to be replaced because there are lots and lots of people who want teaching jobs. There are lots of people who love teaching. Both of my parents were public school teachers. And I know the spirit that drives people who love to teach. And what we have to do is we have to make room for the really qualified, passionate people who want to teach our children. And we have to find a way to replace the people who have given up, who don't want to teach anymore, for whom it's just become a paycheck, who aren't fulfilling their responsibilities. We do that in every other profession. We need to do that in the teaching profession, not because we are attacking teachers, but because we care about teachers and we care about the teaching profession. And, and Wait, why do you the, care? I don't have a second. Why that's do you care? how the other side portrays this. It's, it's, it's an attack on teachers, and it's about professionalizing teachers and evaluating them and giving them performance pay and treating them like individuals instead of okay, interchangeable. It's a hot issue. Uh, Brown, it's good to see you it's again. It's good to see you. David too. Boyce, congratulations again on everything you've done. We'll be right Thank back you. after.